Skaters, I'm here with this rad and today we're starting our four part series on getting to know your skates. So we're going to be talking about all the different parts, how they work, and some of the options that are available so you can completely customize your setup. By the end of the series you're going to know how to take apart and reassemble your skates so that you can clean and maintain them and also how to make adjustments so that you're always getting the maximum performance. So I recommend that you tune up your skates at least once a year, twice would be better, um, and that's when you're going to take everything apart and give it a good clean and see if any of your parts need replacing. Some of our parts are really only designed to last us a single season. Okay, so this first episode we're going to be talking about your boots and your plates. Alright, so let's start with the boot. Boots can be made out of leather, synthetic, or a combination of materials like fiberglass or carbon fiber. This boot is genuine leather with carbon fiber. Um, I really love how comfortable it is and it didn't have a break-in period for me. If your boot is made out of leather, I recommend that you condition it occasionally. I do it whenever I'm cleaning my shoe. Um, for that, I use an all-purpose leather lotion. I just rub it in and then I go over it again with a clean cloth to take the residue off. You really want to avoid uh, shoe polishes because those are waxy and are just going to sit on the surface whereas the lotion is going to penetrate and actually make the, le the leather softer. A lot of boots are heat moldable which means after you buy them you're going to heat them up to a certain temperature and then mold them to the shape of your foot which is awesome because then it gives you a really nice custom fit. Uh, regardless of what your boot is made out of, you're going to want to protect this toe box area because we're really brutal on it in roller derby. So you can buy toe guards um, that are synthetic or leather and they can be a cap that covers the entire toe box um, or just a strap or even a bumper that glues directly onto the boot. Or you can use duct tape or hockey tape. Okay, so next we have the plates. This is where all of the magic happens. Your plates um, really play a big role in the performance of your skates and how they're going to behave. Plates can be made out of nylon or metal. Nylon is going to be your least expensive option. It's pretty affordable and also very lightweight. But compared to metal, nylon has a greater tendency to break. And then under the forces of skating, that plastic plate is actually going to flex, um, which is going to take away some of your power transfer and the responsiveness. So metal is going to always be your high performance option. Um, and then with metal plates, there's a whole range of different weights and performance points and price. On your plate, you're going to have two kingpins and they're going to be at a particular angle. Um, sometimes they're at different degrees. This plate, uh, my kingpins are at 16 degrees, and that's going to be, for me, a really nice sweet spot between agility and stability. I'm also looking at a plate where that front kingpin is at 18 degrees, so the extra two degrees is probably going to give me a little bit more agility. Um, I've seen them at 10 degrees, 45 degrees. Uh, there's a whole bunch of options out there and what you're looking for as a skater is that right balance between agility, edging, responsiveness, and stability um, for what you're looking for with your skating style. And then when you're shopping for a plate, um, it's not important that you know everything there is to know about plates, but it is important that you know what you're looking for. So you want to know what you're going to want to feel out there as you're skating between agility and stability and that's going to help you narrow it down to a skate that really works for you. Okay, so that's all we have for this episode. Look for our next video where we get into toe steps.